Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am so excited because we are doing something that we've never done before on this channel, and it's because I got a lot of suggestions from you guys to make some crock pot recipes, but not just a crock pot recipe. You guys wanted to see, can you bake a cake in a crock pot in a slow cooker. So that is exactly what we're gonna be doing today. And if you like watching baking videos, give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video because we are baking a lot this year and we're having fun. We are trying new things. Now, before we get started, I wanna talk about crock pot preferences, which slow cooker to use when you want to bake a cake in them. I love recipe testing and I always do before I film a video. Oh my gosh, I actually tested this recipe like four or five times. I'm just realizing that I have never filmed and showed the recipe testing, like the fails and wins and how I develop a recipe, but I did take some pictures on my phone, so I'm gonna pop those in the video, and I'm just gonna share with you my wins and fails so that you don't make the same mistakes that I did. So let's talk the pots. Now normally, this crock pot over here is wonderful for baking meals and dishes and food, everything savory. This was given to me as a housewarming gift. I've been using it for years and I love it. But when I baked a cake in here, the lid, first off, has two holes, you know, to let out steam. Never had a problem with it until I baked a cake. My cake, after even three, four hours, the edges were starting to burn and the middle was just mush. Just like putty mush, it was terrible. So the second test, I covered the holes, I MacGyvered it, and put a towel down and baked again. I had better results, but here's the thing. Check this out. This crock pot has a digital programmable interface and to keep this safe from the heat, I guess the heating element that goes all the way around, it conducts heat except for in the front. I had no idea because I had cooked so many meals in here, I never had a problem, but when you're baking a cake, totally different. I have a picture of what the cake looked like. I'll put it in here and right in the front, right where this digital, it didn't cook at all. The edges of the cake that went all the way around were golden brown, they were baked, they were starting to burn, but right in the front, wasn't baked at all, gooey. I then did test number three, I lined with aluminum foil and nope, still would not bake and the front of the cake and the middle was mush. Then I tried different heat settings and nothing worked. So I love this for making meals, but not for making cake. This is the crock pot that I would recommend and what worked for me and it worked really well and it worked the first time. It is their manual crock pot. This one is a seven quart and look at this. The lid has no holes. What? You get even heat all the way around and the cakes bake really, really well. Incredible. You can bake a cake in a crock pot. Now without further ado, let's start baking. Thank you for listening to my row rant. I am just very passionate about baking and I want you guys to have great results. I want everyone to be able to make cake, even if you don't have an oven, even if you've just got a crock pot. Get this one. This one's great. All right, let's get started. First step to making a cake in a crock pot is you're gonna line the bottom of the stoneware with a piece of aluminum foil. So just take off the lid. I'll move this over here. Do, do, do. And if you've never used a crock pot before, this is the stoneware. Do, do, do. Right here. Place a piece of aluminum foil all the way to the bottom. Press it down. You want the entire bottom to be covered and then a little bit, about an inch, or two all the way around the sides. I'm being gentle and trying to squish the aluminum to be as flat as possible because your cake will pick up the shape of the aluminum. If your cake's a little wrinkly on the sides, that's okay. It's still gonna taste good and you can cover it with icing. You line the stoneware with foil so that the edges of the cake, as it's slow baking, the edges won't burn. It also makes it easy to take out, so win-win. Next step is to lightly grease the foil. When I say light, I mean light. You don't want to heavy grease it, otherwise it's gonna like fry your dough when it's slow cooking. So just a little. Oh, just a little. It's like a little hairspray. Just a, just a little bit. A little goes a long way. I'm gonna turn it this way. Get a little the other side. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Oh, beautiful. I'm gonna place this here. 
place this off to the side and let's make some cake batter. The cake that I'm making today is like a homemade vanilla funfetti cake because I love funfetti cake. But you can make any cake you'd like. I'm going to be posting all of the ingredients and their measurements in the description down below so if you want to follow along with me at home, you can. First step to making the batter is we're going to whisk together our dry ingredients. In a large bowl, I've got flour, baking powder, whoop, and salt. Salty, salty. Whisk together until well combined and then set it off to the side. Next step, we're onto our butter mixture. In a large bowl, you're gonna cream together your butter and sugar, but this is a little different because we're first gonna mix together our butter and coconut oil. Woohoo! Pro tip, you want your butter to be at room temperature. You do not want melted butter. You do not want cold butter right out of the fridge. You want room temperature butter. It's soft but it's not melted. Put that in the bowl, boop. It makes it the perfect consistency to cream. Put it in the bowl along with your coconut oil. And I'm using coconut oil as a replacement to shortening. That's what I love about baking. You can always replace an ingredient. You can always make a recipe better over the years. And this is one of the ingredients that I changed over the years and I love it. Now using an electric hand mixer, I'm just gonna mix these two together. Also in between mixing, you can use a little spatula, scrape down the sides. Just want it to be nice and smooth. Now we're gonna mix together, cream our butter and sugar just like normal. We've done this a hundred times. Pro yeah, we have done this hundreds of times. Just add your sugar to the bowl. Bloop, 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 bloop. Then again, using an electric hand mixer, we're gonna mix together till light and fluffy. Usually takes about mm, four minutes. <gasps> All right, that's what it should look like. Look how fluffy that is. That looks like a butter cloud. That's exactly what we want. Next, add your extracts and mix it up. We're adding a little bit of vanilla extract and almond extract. Mix it up again and then we'll add our eggs. We got our vanilla flavors in there with our little bit of almond just to give it an extra something. Now we're gonna add our eggs. It's five eggs, but we're not adding the whole egg. We're just adding the egg white. So we're gonna separate our eggs from the yolk. To do this, I just crack my egg and do the jiggle method. I've been doing this since I was a little kid. I don't really know why. You just crack it in half and you jiggle the yolk back and forth, letting the egg whites drip into the bowl. Boop, 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 boop. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Once you've got all your eggs in the bowl, we're just gonna mix well, mix together, and scrape down the sides. Ooh, I'm getting excited. Things are really starting to come together. Now we are gonna alternate adding our flour mixture and milk to our butter mixture, starting and ending with flour. Let me show you. Add about a third of the flour, mix it up. Half of the milk, mix it up. Second third of the flour, mix it up. Rest of the milk, mix it up and the last of the flour. Mix it up. Look at this, this batter looks amazing. We are almost ready, but last ingredient is fun. You can't have a Funfetti birthday cake without the Funfettis. This is what makes it fun, the rainbow sprinkles. So you're gonna pour them all into your cake batter. <laughs> Look how cool this looks, I love it. And you're just gonna fold together using a big spatula. You wanna fold them into the batter gently because you want them to keep their color and their shape. If you use an electric mixer, you could grind them into dust. So just be really gentle. If you've never folded before, it's very easy. You just take your spatula, you scoop underneath the batter, root, fold it over the top, leave a little air, and turn your bowl. Under, over, turn. Under, over, turn and just keep doing that until it's well incorporated and then we're ready to bake. Did you? Our batter is ready and now we're gonna bake a cake in a crock pot. All right, so take off the lid, pour in your batter, then using a spatula, smooth your batter so it's nice and flat on top. Get a nice, even bake. Last step before we let this bake is we're gonna place a towel on the top and that's because crock pot lids fit loosely like that. So placing a towel on top is gonna create a little bit more of a seal to keep that heat in and it's also gonna absorb the condensation, the moisture that the cake is going to release. Otherwise, if you don't, the lid will get condensation and water will just be dripping down onto the top of your cake. Ew, gross. It will be like it's raining on your cake, soggy cake. 
which was another test that I did. That was test number four or five. And I went, whoa, we were so close. And then I was like, too much condensation. So you can either use a clean kitchen towel, place it over the top, or a paper towel. And if you're gonna use a paper towel, I would recommend either doubling up, or in this case, I'm using three, just to be sure to absorb all that moisture. Easy peasy, you just place it over the top. Baking is super easy, you just turn the temperature to high and let it cook for two hours. And pro tip, while the cake is cooking, don't open the lid at all. After two hours, you can use a little toothpick or a cake tester right here. They're just a little bit longer and you're gonna poke the center of the cake and if you place it down and pull it out and it comes out clean, it is done, it is baked and ready to eat. And if any gunk is stuck on there, it's still gooey, it needs to bake for a little bit longer. The bake times can vary based on what cake recipe, the batter that you're using and the size of your crock pot. Again, I'm using the seven quarts and this recipe works really good. Now we just let it sit and I can like do something. I don't know, watch a movie, do some gardening, do laundry, mostly I'll do laundry. What? Easy, boom. Once your cake has baked, you're gonna turn off your heat. Boop, boop. And gotta put these on. You're gonna remove the stoneware from the pot. I'm gonna place it over here on the counter and you're gonna let it cool in the stoneware for about 15 minutes before removing it. So just let it cool, let it do its thing. Then you can remove the cake and place it onto a cooling rack. Once your cake has cooled, place it onto whatever serving tray you'd like to. You can just place it on a basic plate, a cake plate, or a cake stand. We're making a birthday cake, so I really wanted to put it on something fun. I put it on a cake stand, and it's so cute. I am so excited that this actually works. It's amazing, look at that. This cake kind of reminds me of the sheet cakes my mom used to make. She used to bake a cake in those casserole dishes, but instead of being a long rectangle, it's a little oval. I mean. <laughs> an oval cake? I don't know that I've ever made an oval cake. This may be my first oval cake, but I love it. So before I try a slice, I wanna decorate. In front of me, I've got some white buttercream icing. I'm just gonna frost the whole thing and decorate with some more sprinkles. To ice the cake, I'm gonna start on the top, pipe an outline all the way around like a fence, and then doo -doo -doo, zigzags, fill it in. Then using an offset spatula, smooth it out on top, and then we'll do the same to the sides. Can I get a turntable? We can, we can, can I get a DJ table up here? Here's that turntable. If you've got a turntable, these really help. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pipe icing in lines all the way down and then smooth Again, with an offset spatula. Cake is iced, now this part is totally optional. I put a little bit more buttercream into a piping bag with an open star tip at the end, the one that looks like little teeth. I'm just gonna add a few little details on the top before the sprinkles. This will really make it look like a birthday cake. You do little waves, boop, just a little pattern all the way around. There's so many different patterns you can do. Just something simple. And now some little rainbow sprinkles. <laughs> Yes, this is awesome, I love it. And ta-da, there you have it, a birthday cake made in a crock pot. I can't believe this actually works. I've never done this before. A big thank you to you guys for suggesting this. Now, right now, before I do anything else, but before I even take pictures, I'm gonna have a slice to celebrate. Okay, let me get let me get my plate. Oh, 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 oh. I am so silly, I literally forgot where my plates were because I was so excited. I was just like, just, just, let's do this. Oh wait, I need a knife. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm too excited. Blueberry muffin out the way. Oh yeah. Let's use a purple knife. Cut ourselves a little slice. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Perfect bake. It is awesome. This is awesome. Let's do a bite, let's do a taste test here. It's so good. It's incredible, it's amazing. This may be one of the funnest recipes I've ever done. I'm in love with this. I wanna make more things in crock pots. <laughs> I didn't think I would get this excited about crock pot recipes, but this, this makes me wanna bake more things in crock pots. Please let me know 
If you want to see me attempt to make any other baked good in a crock pot because I'm having fun. My sister said she just got an Instapot. I'm really interested if there's things you can do in that too. Please let me know. This cake, this recipe is amazing. I'll be posting the recipe and pictures all over my social medias. Be sure to go follow me on Instagram because I'll be posting the recipe there. And I'm doing some special giveaways over on my Instagram, so go check it out. And if you like this test baking video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video because I am baking a lot and I am having fun. I am experimenting this year and it is amazing. And if you guys have any other ideas of any other baking videos or any other kind of videos you'd like to see, let me know in the comments down below and I will do my best to make it happen. And if you make any recipes in the crock pot, especially baked recipes, take a picture and send it to me because I love seeing your baking creations. It just makes me happy. It makes my day. All right. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye. And if you'd like to watch any other videos, you can click up here or up here.